In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple way to beat man coverage out of the Trips Tight End Formation Man 23. If you would like to get my full Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that, I'm going to put that in the description. Um, it's only $10 to become a member over at the Patreon page, and it allows you to get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, it's going to be linked down in the description. Now, I love Trips tied in this year. I really think it spaces the field really well. Obviously, if you want to ag, um, if you want to use our catch and stuff, this is a great formation to do that out of. But it also has some unique routes in it that can allow you to attack um, just different defenses that you might face. So the play we're going to be going over today is unique to the Patriots and the Raiders playbook. And it is Pats YN and the Raiders. It's just called YN. Um, this is one of the best plays in trips tied in this year. It's actually one of the main reasons why I personally uh, shifted to this playbook. Um, and I do think that this is the better playbook, especially now that Hot Route Master is in the game. Uh, but anyways, Pats YN is what we're going to be going over. And the setup for this is, um, if you have tight end apprentice, it is helpful, um, but it's not necessary. You don't have to have tight end apprentice, okay? Uh, what I like to do with this play is I'm going to slide protect to the away from the running back. I'm going to block and release the running back. This is just going to put him on a little block and release table route or flat route. Then what we're going to do is, you can block the running back. He's not like super mission critical. Um, so if you need to pick up pressure, you can block the running back. We're going to slant this uh, middle trips receiver, and we're going to post our tight end. So you see this is what the play art is going to look like. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create kind of a natural pick and run by motion snapping the slant inside. And what you'll see is this little out route. A lot of times we'll get <coughs> really good separation uh, to the sideline, as you saw right there. Really nice little separation uh, to the sideline. Now, not only is that route going to be getting open on this play for us, but our running back route, especially if they don't have him manned up, that could be a potential read for you as well. What they're going to have to do to stop this little table or um, this little out route is they're going to typically have to put a flat over there. So now this motion snap slant is going to have a lot of room here in the middle of the field to be able to work. So as you saw right there, he was cutting open over on that sideline. Obviously, if you have a little better route running, you know, you're going to be good. In Mutt right now, we're getting players with pretty good route running, so it is helpful uh, for beating this meta um, I'm getting screamed at by Sim 3, you know, but you see the slant's going to come open. Now, the tight end, um, you can use a tight end apprentice uh, crosser, and I think that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, you'll see here, this tight end apprentice crosser will break a little faster than the post will this year, and I actually think it's a little bit more consistent um, against man-to-man -man specifically, okay? So what this is going to do is essentially we're going to force them to have to basically lurk in the middle of the field and make a decision. Are they going to guard the slant or are they going to guard the crosser? You'll see the slant will come open really well, especially late in the play. It's one of the most consistent man beaters this year. So now they have to drop both safeties. You know, they have to have a flat. Uh, they've got to have a user. And then they have to have somebody over here to defend like the tight end apprentice uh, post route which leads us to our final read on the play, which is our post, our deep skinny post. And this route is primarily going to get some separation, especially if they're putting their outside uh, cornerback in an outside third, maybe to stop a C route or something like that. Um, this is a great little mix-in this year from trips. It's not necessarily a primary uh, play like it was last year, but it's a great mix-in play, and it keeps the defense honest, especially deep down the field. Now, if you are watching this video and you say, well, I want it to be a little bit more focused on the tight end route, you might want to consider um, putting that outside receiver on a fade. That outside receiver on a fade is really good specifically uh, for situations where you might get a cover two. So if you're going to get a cover two, uh, the post will bomb cover two, but the fade will bomb it faster, and that's kind of the idea here. So you'll see with this out route and the, the bomb here, that's going to be a great little read for you to the sideline from the deep outside half. You're going to be in a really good spot. However, against cover three and cover four, the primary purpose, um, really the primary purpose of this fade is to try to open up some space for the tight end 
and as well as open up space for this quick out. You'll see if they're not hard flatting, this quick out can be a pretty decent little play uh, just to be able to get some simple yards. Uh, they're going to basically have to hard flat, and even sometimes when they hard flat, I have noticed that because we're motioning this receiver in, it's going to suck the flat zone in, and a lot of times it can give you, again, just a little simple quick dot right there to that sideline that's going to really force them to have to either zone drop or they're going to have to you know, have hard flats. And the problem with that is when they go to have hard flats, now it's going to be hard for them to defend everything else we have to offer in this play, specifically the tight end route, as you can see right there. So it's one of my favorite plays in the game right now. I think it's really effective against the meta, really good against man zone. It's also good um, as well against the blitz. If you're getting some pressure, um, what you'll see with this is, <coughs> excuse me, um, again, if you, if you go ahead and just block your running back, you can pick up most pressures at this point in the year. And then what you should see here is this quick out is a great little quick read against any kind of cover zero blitz as well. So this play is very versatile and equipped to be able to attack a lot of things uh, that the defense is going to do. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you go down to the description below and join our Patreon. Uh, for just 10 bucks, you'll get access to all of our ebooks as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to go sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.